up it, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching a documentary about switches, handguns, ARPs, and basically how these 14 year olds are able to get them into possession. I've done a lot of research, a lot of different news clips, and there are ways that these guys are getting their hands on these guns. Okay, they're getting them from the train. In Southside Chicago, they are robbing the train tracks, you guys. All right, they're robbing it, man. And I don't know how this is possible. I don't know why they don't got no top-notch security guards watching these guns, but I find it awful funny how only Chicago, and only Chicago, is able to get all these guns. Now, you guys gotta watch the clips I put together from the KKK to the news. <laughs> you guys are gonna be really, really fucking mad. Hit that like button and subscribe. Kick your feet back, because this right here is going to be a hell of a ride. And of course, at the end of the video, you know, if you stick around, you're going to hear what I got to say about it. It's your boy, Cali the Muppet. I think it's a racial powder keg about to explode, and I'm, we're actually hoping for it. Most of the people in the clan want it to. We want the racial tension. We want a race war, a full-out race war. And racism is a big issue in, in the United States. Well, racism is always going to be a big issue anywhere. You can't have two different races or three races. You can't have as many people living on one continent with this many different religions, this many different cultures, without one trying to step on the other. I mean, that's just common sense. But you, you could argue that the Klan is contributing to the problem, no? No, the Klan ain't contributing to the problem. You can just sit back and let the blacks do their own job. I mean, let them keep killing each other in record numbers. We ain't got to, the Klan ain't got to go out and kill blacks no more. We just drop off some liquor in their town and some guns and they do it themselves. <laughs> if it was my option every weekend, I would go up to Chicago with a big truck full of whiskey and crack, marijuana, and a ton of guns and bullets and tell them to have at it and just drop it off right in the middle of town. And then go home and watch my Monday morning news and laugh the whole time. <laughs> What's the most important thing you've learned in your life? To never turn my back on God, he'll always be the of Chicago in the city's most dangerous neighborhood of Inglewood. Brazen criminals occasionally hit a gangster's jackpot, shiny new guns in transit inside a sitting train car. Anytime you have individuals who are able to go into a rail yard and steal guns from a train, um, that makes the environment very toxic. The ATF says since 2013, more than 150 guns were stolen from freight trains. In one instance, thieves got their hands on more than 100 new Rugers. Some were traced to violent crimes, only a handful recovered. How in the world are these kids getting all these guns? And I see them on Facebook. I see them, everybody got guns. They, they can't go purchase a gun, so where are they getting them from? In a city where thousands of guns are recovered every year, 150 guns might not seem like a concern. But the ATF says a single gun in Chicago can be linked to a staggering 14 deadly shootings. Critics argue the Norfolk Southern Railway is to blame, saying it could increase security to protect the freight. And there are concerns for even worse scenarios. We need to be concerned about terrorists who can get into these areas unprotected and steal explosive and things that could very well damage our communities. Norfolk Southern tells Fox it's fully liable for stolen property and is working with all levels of law enforcement to increase security around its tracks. A bit of reassurance for neighbors trying to keep guns out of the hands of criminals in one of America's deadliest neighborhoods. It only compounds the, the, the damage that is being done to our city. Norfolk Southern says it's increasing its surveillance, canine units, and confidential security measures around its most targeted rail yard. In Chicago's violence-plagued South Side, even boxcars pose a threat. We're already dealing with the consequences of individuals who are shooting individuals on a daily basis. And now to have illegal guns stolen um, and end up on our streets, it only compounds the issues that we're dealing with every single day. Pastor Corey Brooks's church is a stone's throw from a Norfolk Southern rail yard. Razor wire once separated the church basketball court from the 63rd Street rail yard, but even that has long since rusted and fallen away. Police say street gangs have found the trains easy pickings to plunder guns. 
the opportunities present themselves over and over every single day. In 2015, a group broke into the yard and stumbled upon a gun gold mine, more than 100 brand new firearms inside a freight car en route to the West Coast. They parked their train cars often in rail yards that, that happen to be in high crime areas in, in the city. And that in and of itself presents a problem to law enforcement. Retired alcohol, tobacco and firearms agent Thomas Ahern says an old industry adage is a big factor. Cargo at rest is cargo at risk. Unfortunately, it's very easy for thieves to break into these train cars. While guns have been stolen from other rail yards in the country, there have been three major gun thefts here in recent years. Court and arrest records show days after the 2015 theft, police found some of those handguns in traffic stops and drug raids. Another was used in a January 2016 shooting, one of 3,500 shootings last year. Most of the stolen guns have never been recovered. And so we have to say something. We have to do our part to make sure that they take full responsibility because it is their responsibility and theirs alone. In a statement to the Associated Press, a Norfolk Southern Rail Yard spokesperson said the company is, quote, doing everything within our power to prevent thefts. That includes more patrols and guard dogs, but it didn't offer any details and security upgrades. Pastor Brooks says the company needs to do more. The fact that the railway is not responding speaks volumes. What it really says is that we don't care. He and other residents question whether there would be more urgency if the yard was in an affluent area. John Moan, Associated Press. Flows together. I watched this with my own hands. Oh, it's the first one for my district. You touch me and she touch some brands. You really touch some brands. Now it looked kind of like nice around here. Like, is it safe to just be around here? Hey, look, it's only safe for us, man. It's only safe for none of them. We only missing Detro and Lil Savage. This was our crowd right this, this was our crowd. Born and raised. Born and raised. Man, him used to fight every day. This is my best friend, bro. Shorty, Shorty got shot at nine. Every day, you don't got to kill no for a name, bro. He's chasing that and he's turning out to wreck, you know? That, that's just crazy, bro. Like, how long you got to be in this? I've been in this. Like six, seven. <laughs> they really started off with whatever gun they could get their hands on. Man, we my stopped. first gun was a 38. I ain't gonna lie, my first gun was a deuce deuce revolver. I ain't gonna lie. When I used to get wild with that. You got his ice cream. You feel like the you guns in this. Like this. You feel me? Oh, okay, what, what, which what game you, if you I'm wanna C say? 07 0, Chopper City, Chunky City. I'm, I'm okay. Seven, I'm 07 And so let me ask, okay, what? Money what? Shit, we on Money Block right now. I'm gonna take you to my end and see how that shit is. This, this shit all the same shit though. We gotta be on every car that ride past. Every car that ride past, we gotta be on that bitch. You feel me? Every every car that come past, we gotta be on these cars. Cause people like the. What y'all think? Drive somebody go drive past, start shooting or something? That's the that's the key. And they and, 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 and niggas be. Y'all yeah. y'all got y'all got people after y'all. Huh? Y'all got people after y'all like yeah, wanna yeah, get y'all. <laughs> This whole Chicago war zone. Look, Yo. you see how every you ain't noticed every car that rule past my real, so real. This how we gotta live, bro. You think see, this shit sweet? You, ain't, let me ask you, is it how you gotta live or is it how you wanna it's live? That, is no, it? It's how you it's gotta live, bro. I don't choice. wanna live like this. Why you think I'm rapping and trying to get the fuck out of here? I don't wanna I'm live like this. But this how I vibe. You ain't got no time, your people in the This how I vibe. Now let me see. Did, did the city like? I know. I just flips off this roof. I'm out the window. Two flips off. The Is it safe to be around here? Like just either walking or like yeah. driving? Yeah, all you say, but you know, like I say, oh my it God. just don't be your ops though. Like it ain't even nowadays. I have been looking at it in the city. It don't even be your ops. You be beefing with you. Be beefing with another nigga ops. Just niggas just be getting to it for nothing or just because they with this nigga. That shouldn't even be like that either though. So from all that footage that I put together for you guys, right? Tell me what y'all learned in the comments. What I learned today, y'all, is Chicago is one fucked up city, okay? I feel like they purposely put the train tracks there. It was all a plan from the beginning. It was all a part of the agenda to take down Gen Z. Or at least to make them kill themselves. You know what I mean? What did the dude say? He had put guns in the middle of the city and watch the news. Because us black people, all we're going to do is kill ourselves. And we're going to do the job for them. 
they really ain't gotta do too much. United States of America, y'all. Okay? A lot of people might be like, yeah, man, you just tripping. They're not doing stuff like that. Nah, man, look. These young dudes is out here crying for help. They really out here crying for help. But then again, they got to still stand on business. That's what they live in. That's what they, that's the environment that they was, you feel me, put in. You take a cat, you throw it in the jungle, it turns into a lion. I don't know if the cat actually turned into a lion, but it might die. It's still, you, you, never mind, that was stupid. But still, y'all, when you take a motherfucker, you put him somewhere, you take one of them little niggas from when there's a baby, you put them to the suburbs, there'll be a suburban motherfucker. Yeah. Niggas be snitching, shorty. We go throw it all in the light right now. Niggas <laughs> snitching. My dead grandma. Kill the rest of burn snake. Nah, we 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 the snakes though. Like we really the snakes. We the took every nigga from out west. We took guns from them. Probably threw at them. Yeah. Yeah. All type of shit. On my bed, grandma shot they homies or something, all type of shit. Like, we be doing all type of shit. Niggas so never... it's more than y'all than just right here? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. No, that's only... On my grandma. And he's only half of the guns. We this got so many of them. Shot in the neck, in the forehead. These niggas won't leave Chicago. That's a spell, y'all. Me, you shoot me one time, I'm moving out. Even if it's a gunshot in the air, I'm moving. I don't give a fuck. But that just goes to show that they've been manipulated and then they've been bamboozled and they've been tricked. <laughs> yeah, they've been tricked. They have been tricked with the music, with the food they eat, with the liquor. You feel me? Yeah, they fucked, man. They got G locks, switches. They're killing back to poor. You feel me? They think this is a game. Obviously, to them, they don't give a fuck if they die. Getting shot is just like another day out there, man. Be safe if y'all watching this video. Hopefully, I can change your life. Y'all watch all this shit. Now y'all know. Get the fuck out the streets. Get some money. And if you get shot, really, really get out the way. Sometimes you gotta move to elevate. Because a dollar is a big difference from a water bottle in a dollar store and a water bottle in an airplane. You get it?